15 most dangerous cities in Europe. Have you ever thought that Europe, the beautiful continent with its ancient architecture and rich culture, also hides dark corners? Prepare yourself to explore Europe's most dangerous cities, where the crime rate will send shivers down your spine. Hidden within the ancient streets of many European cities are numerous dark alleys concealing illegal activities and the crime rates might make you think twice before wandering alone at night. Cities you might consider pristine, like Marseille, Barcelona or London, can be surprisingly high rate in crime. I'll focus on ordinary cities, where there is no ongoing war and life goes on in its own way. Let's set aside comparisons with the United States because the level of danger here is entirely different. We will only compare these cities with other cities in Europe to get the most comprehensive and objective view. Let's explore the 15 most dangerous cities in Europe. Number 15. Bradford, England. With over 375,000 residents, Bradford is known as one of the cities with the highest crime rates in Europe, where harassment, theft and violence are frequent. Once a powerful industrial giant, Bradford now bears the scars of closed factories and faces a bleak future. The crime stigma is even heavier with the city's association with two serial killers and being known as a place where female athletes feel the least safe. However, the Bradford Police Department has a different perspective, not entirely agreeing with this assessment, but acknowledging the need to stay vigilant against crime. Statistics show that crime is more concentrated in low-income areas, making some parts of the city dangerous with crimes ranging from harassment and theft to violence. Additionally, Bradford is infamous as the most polluted city in England, frequently experiencing outbreaks of cholera and typhoid. Statistics show that only about 30% of children born to textile workers live to the age of 15. The crime index here is very high, with a score of 77.5. Number 14. London, England. How many cities in England do you think are listed here? Comment below. When mentioning London, people often think of the vibrant, magnificent capital of England, home to the Queen and one of the most culturally valuable centres on the planet. However, few know that London also harbours security risks that visitors should be aware of. The image of aggressive gangsters frequently appearing on screen might make many worry about London's safety. However, reality shows that the activities of these gangs have somewhat decreased in recent years and are unlikely to affect ordinary visitors. Additionally, London is ranked as the second most vulnerable city in Europe for credit card fraud. One in six business travelers falls victim to credit card fraud. Be cautious when making any transactions in London. Heavy drinking reported at alarming levels in England can lead to theft and murder. With a crime rate of 53.36, London is classified as a moderately secure city in Europe. Visitors should proactively research safe and unsafe areas and necessary precautions to ensure their safety when traveling here. Have you ever visited this place? Share your thoughts below. Number 13. Brussels, Belgium. Brussels, the capital of Belgium, is famous for its delicious chocolates, magnificent architecture and vibrant atmosphere. However, like many major cities, Brussels also faces pickpocketing issues, causing significant concern for both locals and tourists. Some areas with high crime rates contribute to the city's crime rate of 54.2. This city is known as one of the biggest pickpocketing hotspots in Europe. According to police statistics, over 14,000 pickpocketing cases were reported in Brussels in 2020. These incidents usually occur in crowded places like Brussels Central Station, Arts Loi Metro Station, and busy bus stops. Tourists should also be cautious when walking around Grand Place, the Mannequin P.I. statue, and the shopping district galleries Royales St. Hubert. Pickpockets use various sophisticated tactics to distract their victims and steal wallets, cash, or electronic devices without being detected. They might bump into or jostle you, creating a commotion to divert your attention and pick your pocket. Some will ask for directions or a signature to create a friendly interaction while an accomplice steals your belongings. Others use sharp knives or scissors to quickly and silently cut the straps of your bag. In addition, another factor that makes Brussels a potential danger zone is its frequent targeting and terrorist attacks, with several terrorist groups having been detected in the city. Despite local authorities making extensive efforts to tackle pickpocketing issues, such as launching awareness campaigns and increasing police presence, this remains a persistent problem in Brussels. Number 12. Marseille, France. 
This city is one of Europe's most important commercial ports and the second largest city in France. Marseille, France's oldest town, offers a rich history and plenty to keep tourists busy. However, Marseille has serious crime issues, partly due to the poverty faced by migrants. Drug trafficking thrives in the city, with various criminal organizations contributing to a crime rate of 61.50. Most crimes here include muggings, credit card theft and pickpocketing, although violent crimes like contract killings are also a concern. Marseille has a higher crime rate compared to other French cities, particularly regarding muggings, pickpocketing and drug trafficking. Tourists need to be careful, especially in crowded areas and at night. Some dangerous areas include Noailles and Bel Air with higher crime rates and should be avoided. Additionally, Marseille experiences gang violence and drug trafficking, making it one of the most dangerous cities in Europe. Two drug gangs, Yoda and DZ Mafia, are competing for control of the drug market, leading to instances of kill to intimidate. While Marseille has much to offer tourists, it's best to avoid the northern districts, including the 16th, 5th, 14th and 3rd arrondissements. Law enforcement struggles to secure these areas, leading to increased murders and gang violence. Despite the potential dangers, Marseille remains a fantastic city to explore, with many attractions like the Old Port, a bustling area with restaurants, bars and shops. Another highlight is the iconic Basilica of Notre Dame de la Garde, offering panoramic views of the city. Number 11. Birmingham, England. Birmingham, the second largest city in England, is famous for its delicious Balti curry, a culinary religion for the locals. There is even a Balti triangle area dedicated to this dish. The city is often referred to as a mini Venice due to its extensive canal network. However, don't expect to enjoy operatic performances like in Venice. Instead, you might encounter a pigeon choir rehearsing along the canals. Birmingham is a vibrant city with over 1.1 million residents. However, it also harbors dangers. Birmingham has high rates of gang activity and drug-related crimes, making it a risky city for tourists. Additionally, Birmingham has one of the worst mugging rates among major cities in England. The infant mortality rate here is twice the national average, and about one-third of Birmingham's children live below the poverty line. Furthermore, the average income in Birmingham is lower than the national average. The crime index for Birmingham is 61.53, higher than the national average. Number 10. Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, a famous tourist city in Spain known for its unique architecture, vibrant culture and rich cuisine, is facing increasing crime problems, particularly pickpocketing and scams. According to statistics, the crime rate in Barcelona has risen by 50.6% in recent years. Visitors to Barcelona should avoid unfamiliar areas at night. Some specific areas such as Ravel and El Born should be avoided at night, especially when alone. These areas have long been territories of the Roma community and seem to be outside the law. Local authorities regularly attempt to disband them, but no efforts have succeeded so far. The Roma groups continue to move freely through these areas and are always ready to defend what they consider their territory. At night, these areas are even more dangerous, as the Roma can not only rob guests who look at them but also use force, even weapons. In addition, pickpocketing is a common problem in Barcelona, so tourists should be careful with their personal belongings, especially in crowded places. It's advisable to use anti-theft bags or store valuables in a safe place. Additionally, be cautious of scammers in bars, particularly those who take advantage of intoxicated tourists to drug or pickpocket them. What do you think about this city? Does it seem dangerous to you? Leave a comment below. Number 9. Nantes, France. Nantes, a charming city on the banks of the Loire River in France, is a unique blend of luxurious historical beauty and modern technology. The city is famous for its residents' appreciation of wine and cheese, turning their enjoyment into a highly competitive sport. The city also attracts visitors with its giant mechanical elephant, a symbol of the creativity and innovation of its people. Nantes prides itself on its rich cuisine, from delicious pastry shops to sophisticated dishes paired with wine and cheese. However, visitors to Nantes should be aware of some security issues. Pickpocketing and car theft are common problems, especially in crowded areas. Tourists should be careful with their personal belongings and cautious when navigating traffic. The city has some neighborhoods known to be dangerous, so it's important to research and avoid these areas. Additionally, Nantes was heavily affected by World War II, with nearly half of the city destroyed. 
This history is still evident in some areas, and visitors should learn about it to gain a comprehensive understanding of the city. Despite some security concerns, Nantes remains a beautiful city worth visiting. The city has a population of about 315,000 and is a vibrant tech startup hub in Europe. What do you think about this city? Leave a comment below. Number 8. Catania, Italy Catania is the second largest city in Sicily, known for its fiery beauty much like the majestic Mount Etna, which constantly erupts nearby. It's a place renowned for passionate people they are deeply enamored with Mount Etna and can consume espresso coffee endlessly. The city is like a maze with winding, twisting streets that seem designed by Formula One racers with ADHD. However, once you navigate these challenges, tourists are rewarded with charming alleys leading to delicious gelato shops and pizzerias. Nevertheless, according to some locals, Catania hosts some of the craziest street races, turning its streets into high-speed racecourses full of collisions. Graffiti is dense on many streets, and some areas suffer from social issues and inadequate security. Furthermore, corruption and organized crime remain significant concerns in Catania, affecting the lives of residents and tourists alike. Currently, Mount Etna poses an ongoing eruption risk, causing damage and displacing residents. Visitors should exercise caution with personal belongings, especially against motorbike snatch and grab thefts. Catania has a population of approximately 586,000 people and a crime index of 60.36, higher than the national average in Italy. Number 7. Athens, Greece. Athens, the capital of Greece, is a city steeped in historical significance with a rich cultural heritage. It attracts visitors from around the world to explore ancient ruins, captivating museums and stunning beaches. Despite being the cradle of Western civilization, there are some safety concerns as the crime rate here is as high as 55.9. Therefore, travelers to Athens should be aware of the crime rate, which exceeds the national average for Greece. According to 2020 data, Athens had a crime rate of 55.43 per 1,000 people, which is 12% higher than the national average of 49.5. Common crimes in Athens include pickpocketing, petty theft and car theft, especially targeting tourists in crowded areas like Syntagma Square, the historic Plaka district, and the shopping district of Ermu. Moreover, Athens has a high drug use rate, particularly heroin and cocaine, Drug trafficking is also a significant issue with criminal gangs operating in the city. While the homicide rate in Athens is relatively low, other violent crimes such as muggings and assaults still occur. What do you think about this city? Share your thoughts below. Number 6. Montpellier, France. Once again, another city from France makes it onto the list of Europe's most dangerous. Montpellier, the eighth largest city in France, is renowned for its historical architecture, beautiful beaches and vibrant atmosphere. However, tourists visiting Montpellier should also be aware of the city's crime rate, which is higher than the national average in France. According to 2020 data, Montpellier had a crime rate of 61.8 per 1,000 people, which is 8% higher than the national average of 57. Pickpocketing and theft are the most common crimes, especially targeting tourists in crowded areas like Place de la Comédie Square, St. Roch Railway Station area, and the Old Town District. When traveling here, pay attention to people and activities around you, especially in crowded places. Also, avoid carrying too much cash or valuable jewelry. Use a secure zippered bag and store valuables in a safe at your hotel. If you are robbed, report it immediately to your hotel and contact the police. Number 5. Minsk, Belarus. Minsk is the capital of Belarus, often referred to as an inward-facing city compared to the more lively cities around the world. At first glance, Minsk presents wide streets, meticulously groomed parks, exuding an elegant, tidy appearance as if striving to maintain the title of cleanest town in the world. However, don't let that perfect facade deceive you. Beneath this surface lies a vibrant, pulsating Minsk that comes alive when night falls. The city transforms with secret underground clubs where lively music and overflowing beers can rival even Berlin. Minsk's cuisine is equally impressive, with dumpling shops serving enough starch to fuel an army. Minsk is a place where you can let loose and enjoy life without scrutiny or judgment. Nevertheless, Minsk is not entirely paradise. Organized crime and government harassment contribute to an unsafe atmosphere, 
requiring foreign tourists to exercise heightened vigilance compared to locals. Belarus government, ruled by the last dictator in Europe, boasts low unemployment rates and a free healthcare system. However, these positives come with restrictions on freedom of speech and politics. With a population of approximately 2 million people and a crime index of 59.8, Minsk is a city of stark contrasts, elegant yet lively, safe yet potentially dangerous. If you're looking for a unique travel destination where you can experience both tranquility and excitement, Minsk is the perfect choice. However, remember to be cautious and comply with local laws to ensure your safety throughout your exploration of this city. Number 4. Charleroi, Belgium. This city is often likened to a mysterious box containing many surprises. This small city carries a unique blend of industrial charm and eccentricities that pique the curiosity and fascination of visitors. Tourists may come across the giant saxophone airplane statue by Peo, a famous Belgian comic book artist, right in the middle of the street. Charleroi is also known for its confusing street sign system, which often leads tourists astray. However, similar to the local residents' personalities, the weather in Charoi is unpredictable and can change suddenly. It used to be a bustling industrial center with various manufacturing sectors. However, by the 1970s, the industrial decline led Charleroi into economic and social crises. Today, Charleroi is known as one of Europe's cities with high crime rates and unemployment. For travelers who enjoy exploring unique and lesser-known destinations, Charleroi can be an interesting place to visit. However, it should be noted that the city does not have many famous tourist attractions, and tourists may encounter some security issues. Number 3. Naples, Italy. Naples, the vibrant city of Italy, exudes chaotic yet captivating beauty. The city blends bustling energy with ancient charm, creating a unique urban portrait. The people of Naples are known for their warmth, openness, and readiness to assist tourists. They also love lively debates on various topics, especially on which pizza is the best. Walking through the narrow, winding streets here feels like navigating a maze full of mysteries and surprises amidst modern buildings and ancient architecture steeped in history. Naples is also renowned as the birthplace of pizza, where tourists can enjoy authentic and delicious pizzas. Besides pizza, Naples offers many other delicious dishes such as spaghetti and seafood. Walking through the small alleys, tourists can discover hidden treasures and unique views of the city. The majestic Vesuvius volcano is a symbol of Naples, offering spectacular scenery and adventurous experiences for tourists. However, Naples also harbors dangers for tourists. Pickpocketing and muggings are pressing issues here, especially in crowded areas and at night. Naples also grapples with waste disposal issues, affecting the urban environment and posing risks of disease outbreaks. Mafia Mafia activities are also a pressing issue, affecting the city's security and social order. Additionally, Naples has a crime index of 62.6, higher than the national average. Tourists should take care of their personal belongings, avoid walking alone at night and in deserted areas. Furthermore, it's advisable to thoroughly understand the local culture and customs to avoid misunderstandings. Have you been here before and what do you think? Please comment below. Number 2. Coventry, England. Coventry, located in the heart of England, is a city steeped in history and known for its resilience, ability to regenerate after ups and downs. This city boasts a rich history spanning centuries, witnessing many historical fluctuations. During World War II, Coventry endured devastating bombing raids, leading to the reconstruction of the iconic cathedral as symbol of peace and reconciliation. Today, Coventry is a multicultural city, vibrant with a rich cultural and artistic heritage showcased through museums, art exhibitions and theatres. The city has two universities, offering numerous opportunities for young people. However, Coventry is also listed as one of the most dangerous cities in Europe due to its high crime rate in 2017. Coventry was dubbed the most dangerous city in the United Kingdom. Studies show that the crime rate here increased by more than 14% since, since 2017. While this figure might be lower compared to the US, it is high for the UK. According to statistics, Coventry has 34 serious offenses per 1,000 people and a crime index of 69.4. Despite the potential hazards, Coventry remains a city with many attractive landmarks such as Coventry Cathedral, Coventry Memorial Park, Coventry Castle, etc. Travelers should carefully consider and take appropriate precautions to ensure their safety when visiting Coventry. 
What do you think about this city? Please leave a comment with your thoughts. Number 1. Grenoble, France. Grenoble is a city nestled amidst the majestic Alps, exuding a rebellious teenage beauty. The city is still in the process of shaping its future, whether it will become a bustling capital or a paradise for winter sports. Grenoble is famous for its talented local people who can effortlessly ski and snowboard, alongside passionately discussing the latest advances in physics. Thanks to the presence of CERN, the Advanced Scientific Research Center, Grenoble has become an ideal destination for science enthusiasts. However, Grenoble also faces pressing issues that require attention. The city attracts tourists with its beautiful scenery and lively winter activities, but is also the site of many pickpocketing incidents, bag snatchings, especially at tourist spots and subway stations. Social discrimination and drug-related problems are also alarming issues. Furthermore, Grenoble has a high rate of property crime and vandalism, with many cases of graffiti and muggings. According to statistics, the city's crime index is 59.1, significantly higher than the average of 35. With a population of only about 300,000 people, Grenoble continues to strive to address security and social issues to become a more livable city. So, we have explored the 15 most dangerous cities in Europe. What do you think about these cities? If you have visited any of them, please remember to comment and share your experiences with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you again in the next videos.